So in this video, we're going to look at functions, their relation to coordinates, and working backwards with functions. So for the first question here, if h of x is 2x, find the values of h of x when x is between, this means between 0 and 3, including 0 and 3, and find the related coordinates. So I'm going to take h of x and I'm going to substitute in 0, 1, 2 and 3 to see what I get. So that's the first one. So let's put in h of 0. So I replace my x's with 0. So I'm going to get 0. So what this means, I've put 0 in and I get 0 out. So that's the coordinates related to it. So h of 1, well, I replace the x's with 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. So I put 1 in and I get 2 out. So that's my coordinate for that point. h of 2 is going to be 2 times 2, replace the x with 2, so I get 4. So I put 2 in and I get 4 out. Last one, h of 3, so I'm putting 3 in. 2 times 3 is 6, so I put 3 in and 6 out. So they are my related coordinates. So let's look at this backwards question. For f of x equals 3x plus 1, if f of c equals 31, find c. So to take my equation, my function, sorry, f of x equals 3x plus 1. The first thing I'm going to do is, is put in c. So f of c, well, I replace all my x's with c's, so it's going to be 3 times c plus 1. So f of c is equal to 3c plus 1. Now we also know that f of c is equal to 31. So f of c is equal to 31 and 3c plus 1. So let's put those two things together. And now there's an equation I can solve. I can take away 1 from both sides. And we get 30 is equal to 3c. I can divide both sides by 3. And I'm going to get c is equal to 10. So that's saying that if I put 10 in, I get 31 out. Right, let's move on to my next example. For g of x equals 2x squared plus 2, if g of b equals 34, find b. So I do the same as I did before. First, write out my function. There it is. Now replace all my x's with b's. So 2b squared plus 2. Then use the fact that g of b, as well as being equal to 2b squared plus 2, is also equal to 34. So I replace my left-hand side with 34. And now I can go about solving this. I take away 2 from both sides, so that I only have one number term, 32 equals 2b squared. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get the b squared on its own. So 32 divided by 2 is 16, is it to b squared. And then to get rid of the squared, I do the opposite square, which is square rooting. So what I'm going to be left with here is b is equal to the square root of 16, which is 4. But remember, there are if you square root something, you get a plus or a minus, so it's plus or minus 4. So the answer is b equals plus or minus 4. 